So we move on to um, Sakong, who is, in some sense, at the center of the storm. Korea finds itself, both, uh, both Korea and Asia find themselves at the center of many of these difficulties. And I suppose it falls to you to try to give us some sense of how things look from Seoul, from Asia more generally, as these troubling trends in the world economy take, take hold. Well, thank you. <clears throat> Given the uh, time constraint, uh, if you allow me, I would like to make uh, very general comments regarding the um, uncertain future world economy order and, and the global governance related uh, 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 issues rather than talking about specific issue areas, uh, perhaps that for later discussions. Uh, it is needless to say that we live in an economically highly interconnected uh, world and therefore uh, to properly deal with any global challenges will help to be at, community, at the global community level, uh, policy, coordination or cooperation endeavors. So my first point uh, is that the most uh, serious problem for the global community uh, for the next five years will be uh, what I call global leadership gap or leadership deficit, uh, of course, uh, caused by the receding or withdrawal of U.S. global leadership role, while uh, no other country or no other countries uh, try to fill the gap as yet. Uh, so the current global economic situation, I mean the global economic situation for the next five years uh, could be seen more like, uh, more like trapped in so-called Kindleberg trap. Uh, the, in which there is insufficient supply provision of public goods, most importantly, free trade and financial stability. Uh, so, my second point is to, uh, to strongly argue again here. I did it a number of times at this very conference that like-minded countries at the G20 level, one might call them middle power countries, uh, should exert a collective leadership, not only for, the, for themselves, but for the global economy as a whole. Uh, of course, uh, Korea is one of the countries should exert such leadership. Uh, this point will become more critical and persuasive if one looks at next couple of years uh, global economic horizon from the cyclical uh, perspective to foresee big challenges for both emerging and advanced economies. For emerging economies, we can see high likelihood of financial crisis, big or small, uh, as central banks of important advanced countries uh, unwinding uh, their very unconventional monetary policies. Uh, for advanced economies, uh, it is inevitable to avoid policy induced recession while the central banks and the fiscal status uh, have uh, less room for maneuvering. So what it means is that there's more 
coordinated and cooperated uh, policy among uh, the uh, countries, particularly I have in mind is the G20 level of countries. So, um, at the time when global policy coordination and cooperation is needed, the, gl the global community today face lack of global leadership, which make the situation very bad. So, in, in conclusion, I, in, in my view, uh, next five years we'll see more like a Kindleberg-like trip, but I'm less concerned about squeezing this uh, trip as such. Well, let me stop here. Thank you very much. Uh